Hey guys, what's up? This is Nate here back with another iOS 6 video and this one is going to be focused on the changes that Apple has made to PhotoStream. So PhotoStream was a, f a feature originally announced with iCloud and iOS 5 last year uh, which made it really easy to share all of your photos between your iOS devices as well as your Windows PC or Mac without having to do any sort of syncing. And now in iOS 6, Apple is making PhotoStream even better. So to show you guys what they've added, we'll open up the Photos application and I've created a test album specifically for uh, this video called iOS 6 and it just contains some photos of the new iOS 6 Maps application. So what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these photos right here and we're going to share them. So in iOS 6 you have the ability now to share photo streams with other people. So let's do that. We'll select this and the first option you have here is who you're going to share this photo stream with. So you type in a name uh, from someone in your address book. So I'm just going to share it with myself and then what you can do is you can name the photo stream so I'll just call it Nate's photo stream and then the next option you have here is a public website so let's say you want to share uh, your photo stream with someone who doesn't have an iOS device they can still view these photos on iCloud.com so we'll go ahead and turn that feature on as well and then we'll go ahead and select next and then right here you have the ability to add a comment so we'll just call it iOS maps photos and then we'll go ahead and select post and so now we're done and if you see in the photo stream tab here this photo stream has been shared with me so if I shared this with anyone else this photo stream would automatically appear in the photo stream tab on their iOS devices so we'll go ahead and open this up now and you'll see these photos that have been made available here for sharing and you can see the comment that I added earlier uh, which says iOS maps photos and right here you have some features that remind me a lot of Facebook so you have the ability to like a photo and it will say that I like this and if anyone else liked this that I shared it with their names would appear here and you can also add a comment so we can just say cool and post and then any of these comments will be made available for anyone else uh, that you shared this with as well so uh, some nice features there I like the ability to be able to share your photos I'm not sure how much the comments and the liking will be used uh, I think that's more for someone who enjoys using Facebook uh, so now let's head back into the uh, where the album was in the photo stream and if we select this blue icon right here uh, you have the ability to add more people so if you add, add more people to the photo stream after you originally created created it you can still do that you can change the name of the photo stream uh, down here you have the ability to delete the photo stream if you no longer want it and here was the public website option that we just turned on earlier and now what you can do is share this link uh, with people who you want to share this uh, these photos with so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'm just gonna email this link to myself and then we're gonna head over to my Mac and take a look at what the photo stream looks like on iCloud.com Alright guys, so I'm now over at iCloud.com uh, using the link that I emailed to myself and you'll see it's iCloud.com slash PhotoStream and then this code right here will reject you to my specific album. Uh, you'll see it is still being advertised as beta and you can see that the name of the PhotoStream that I called it earlier, so Nate's PhotoStream, you'll see it's by me so it shows your name and the date and the time that it was created as well as how many photos are in it and uh, what you can see here is that Apple's organized these photos in this nice uh, grid like sort of fashion uh, with two photos on each side and then one big one here at the bottom and if you select any of these photos what you can begin doing is playing a slideshow so if we select the play button it will automatically go to the next photo here in a few seconds and you can also go to the next photo by selecting either of the arrow keys right here uh, you've also got some other options if you select this icon it'll bring up the photo stream website in a full screen view mode so it will remove of the address bar and the Google search bar right there and uh, they will reappear if you select that icon again and then the other option you have is the ability to download photos from here so if we select this icon the photo automatically went to my downloads folder and then it opened it up in preview for me right here so some really great stuff with photo stream uh, I'm really excited for that coming this fall in iOS 6 so thanks for taking the time to watch this video please like it subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video